Hello and welcome to another episode of Non-Stop F-Stop. I'm here with my friends, 60D and 5D Mark III. And on this episode, we'll be modifying a lens. Welcome back. Oh, you thought I was gonna modify this lens? No freaking way. No, what we'll be doing today is modifying a Rikkonen eight millimeter. See, what I need is a circular fisheye lens. And on a crop frame body, this works just fine, except for it's not a circular fisheye, it's a just pure fisheye, which would be on the 60D. On the 5D Mark III, it shows all of these little petals right here. I have to turn this into a circular fisheye. Now the only problem is, what tool to use? We'll find out which one of these takes these petals off best. All right, let's have at it. So that worked pretty dang decently. It did not get um, this part off. I was kind of expecting it to just snap down here, but apparently this metal or this plastic is pretty strong. We're gonna go ahead and try something a little smaller. I have no reason to think this is gonna do any differently, and it doesn't. Let's try this. All right. That actually seems to work much better. Yeah, it's a much cleaner, a much cleaner cut. Try not to touch your lens as you do this. It's uh, very destructive to smack the lens with metal objects, especially sharp metal objects, when modifying your lenses. Okay, so I didn't actually get to try the crescent wrench or the uh, channel locks or even the hammer. I never really intended to use the hammer tell you the truth. Um, what I think I'm going to have to do is grind this this little bit of shaving off. It isn't uh, it's protruding too much. I think it's going to be in the way. I brought a knife. Look at this. A bad boy right here. See how we can do shaver down. So there is your modified 8mm Rikkonen lens. The lens cap doesn't fit on anymore. It kind of just rolls around. Well, it looks like I didn't do any real substantial damage to it. Alright, so one thing I've already noticed about this is that you're not able to stick it on its face when changing out lenses. So here's what it looks like with the 60D. I can see this hand about right here and this hand about right here. All right, so it's not like it's going to change on the 5D Mark III, but it's still quite a bit harder to change the uh, lens without being able to put it on its face. All right, so let's have a look. It is uh, 180 degrees. You can see my finger here and here. Look at that. Okay, so that's it for this episode of Nonstop F-Stop, but make sure and stay tuned, because you never know what we're going to do.